Hey, this is Brett. Has the price of a Big Mac become too expensive for the everyday American to afford? Some McDonald's locations now charge $18 for a Big Mac combo meal that comes with a medium fry and soda. Oh, you wanted a large fry and a drink with that? Yes, 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 yes! you'll pay close to $20 after the meal upgrade. And what's so surprising to me is that only a few years ago, Mickey D's, this was considered a place where people from all economic backgrounds could grab a burger. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Once home to the dollar menu, prices at the Golden Arches leaving a bad taste in the mouth of consumers who just want value. $18 at a Connecticut rest stop. The increased prices at McDonald's, uh, you say they backfired. Donald's yeah. CEO admits yeah. prices might, might have gotten a bit out of hand, hurting sales, he says. Let me know in the comments, do you feel like fast food is still a value? And would you be happy to pay $18 for a Big Mac combo meal? Does that sound like a good deal to you? In this video, I break down the income group already turning their back on the fast food industry, the total hours the average American must work now to pay for a combo meal, and what these changes could mean for the overall economy. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I'm a small channel and it really helps me out. Now let's get into it. As I mentioned earlier, as someone who Grew up in the 90s, I still view McDonald's as a place families can afford to go once a week. You know, order a Happy Meal for the kids or host a birthday party there with Ronald. Well, that's not the reality anymore. Even the CEO of McDonald's admits they're losing customers who earn $45,000 or less per year. These customers say they're ditching fast food to cook meals at home or pick up food at a convenience store or gas station because the menu prices have just gotten too insane. Now, I want you to take a look at this. We're gonna look at how long the average American now needs to work to be able to pay for lunch at one of these fast food restaurants. In my opinion, it is totally obvious why someone making 45K or less per year would stop eating out, period. Now, according to fool.com, the average working male in the United States made $52,612 in 2022. This pencils out to $25.29 per hour for taxes. Of course, everyone with a job in the United States already knows that you've got to pay federal income tax, social security, Medicare, and usually a state income tax depending on where you live. To keep things simple, let's just say that this employee is taxed at a rate of 27.5%. Well, this employee would take home approximately $18.34 per hour worked after tax. So in some parts of the United States, the average male earner would need to work about an hour to buy an $18 combo meal. And that's the average. Too. Now imagine this person had a partner, kids they wanted to take out. This person would be required to work four hours or half a workday just to buy four Big Mac meals. Crazy. No wonder people are looking for any alternative they can find. But these prices are even more ridiculous when you consider the average female employee only makes $39,000 per year or about $19 per hour before tax. Assuming a 27.5 tax rate, this woman would only be making about $13 an hour after taxes. Personally, I couldn't justify buying fast food at this level. I know in my first job out of college, I was only making $32,000 per year. This was more than a decade ago and the prices were much lower then. It was really hard to make ends meet on this salary. So what do higher fast food prices mean for the overall economy and people like me and you? First off, I think higher food prices are the new normal. Fortunately, the $18 Big Mac combo that's on the news is only being sold at this price in one location in Connecticut right now, but there are other states like New York that aren't far behind. They're charging about $17 for one of these Big Mac meals. And I think we've all become all too familiar with price hikes over the past few years, especially when it comes to food. This article states McDonald's doesn't have any plans to cut their prices either. The company says price increases will ease. I mean, I don't know about you, but the way I interpret that is that higher fast food prices, they're here to stay. They might increase more slowly over the next couple of years, but they aren't coming back down. This is the new normal. Bottom line, I think we're heading into a time period here where people, they're just gonna be eating out a lot less frequently than we've seen in the past. And people with lower incomes, 45K and below, forget about it, you're not gonna be able to afford it, period. But even the middle income families too, I believe they'll be dining out far less often than they used to. Families who used to eat out a couple times per week, that was totally normal, well, they might decide to eat out a couple times a month instead just to cut costs. I think affordable pre-made meals that can be made at home, like frozen pizzas, pop them in the oven, pre-made pastas from the freezer aisle, and those rotisserie chickens that you can find at Costco, they're gonna become 
even more popular than they are already. And I don't think all these changes are, are necessarily bad either. In addition to saving money, you can make healthier food at home and turn cooking into more like a family activity like folks used to do back in the day. That's what I'm trying to do at home too. But let's talk about it. Do you plan to eat out less this year? Do you think fast food prices have gotten too high? You think they're gonna go back down? I'm a small channel and I respond to all legit comments, so let me know. Sadly, I could see a future where only the highest income families are the ones that are able to dine out on a regular basis. And if your goal is to improve your financial situation, you know, so that you can afford the latest luxury items like that double big Mac, I think the best way to do it is by starting some type of side hustle or business. If this sounds like you, check out this database of 102 business ideas in the resource box below this video. Access to the database is free and gives you side hustle ideas with revenue numbers and startup costs for each business. This database includes revenue numbers from solo founded businesses that you might not know about like parking lot cleaning, towing, junk removal, auto detailing, online businesses, and more. If you're looking for a new business idea this year, sign up for the database below this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.